Yesterday I was complaining about my baby hair sticking out, so today I put a headband on. When I say my hair has a mind of its own, this is exactly what I mean. Welcome to day three of the 75 hard challenge. It's 7 a.m. and we're gonna go get our indoor workout in. I don't know how I'm awake and like up and like ready to go run and like sweat. I don't take pre-workout. There is no caffeine in me. Last night, as I was like sitting at my desk, we had an earthquake, which was crazy because the past three mornings, I kept waking up and thinking like earthquake question mark in my head. And I never think about earthquakes. It's just like not something I think about. But the past three mornings couldn't explain it. I kept thinking about earthquakes. And I was like, why do I keep thinking about earthquakes? And then last night, we had an earthquake and I was literally like my entire building was shaking and it was the crazy, it was the biggest earthquake I've ever felt. And it lasted a long time too. Like it was kind of crazy. Like I was like looking at my watch. I was like, are you done yet? Okay, now before we go to the gym, let's do our little fit check. Headband is from Target. And then my outfit is literally head to toe, aloe, including the socks, minus the shoes. My shoes, my gym shoes are Adidas. Adidas, Adidas, I don't know how you say it. But anyways, here's the fit. It's, it's literally 7 a.m. I shouldn't be doing all that. Whew. Okay, I'm back from the gym. All I did was a, a little run walk for 45 minutes and that was like perfect for me today. Woo! There's a fly in my house. That is going to bother me. Okay. So yesterday I did not edit day two of the 75 hard challenge vlog. So this morning, that's what I have to do. And that's why I was up so early because I needed to get my indoor workout done so I could sit down at my computer and edit yesterday's vlog. I also picked this, don't mind that. It's currently 8.50 AM. So I'm gonna sit down and see how long it takes me and I'll check back in with ya. In, in who knows how long. I'm also gonna be eating my breakfast. Same old, same old. You know the drill over here at this point. And then on the side, I have my lovely little coffee. Mm. Perfect. I had every intention of sitting down last night after my little outdoor workout to edit uh, day two's vlog, but I was so anxious yesterday. And I don't know if it was like what we discussed in therapy that made me like super, super anxious, but I just like couldn't calm down. And then all of a sudden, like I sat down to edit yesterday and I just like, I couldn't do it. I was so anxious. And you wanna know the funny part is, is when I tried to edit and I tried to sit down, an earthquake happened. I've been sitting, I'm, I'm starting to lose it. Like you ever sit somewhere for so long, staring at something for so long, hearing yourself talk for so long, you start to actually lose it? That's, that's where I'm at right now. It's currently 1 p.m. 1 p.m. I finally got done. I'm just waiting for the video to render, upload. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm, I'm so cranky right now. I'm so at, like, I'm just, I'm just so cranky and I need to stop. I need to go like work the attitude out of me right now. So I think what we're gonna do is do my outdoor workout right now and just like get outside, soak in some sun. I feel like that'll really help with the attitude. Also, I look lit. <laughs> I look insane right now. Oh my gosh, I look so crazy. No wonder why I don't have a boyfriend. Also, that's something like I've been thinking about heavily and it was something I talked about in therapy yesterday. I was like, uh. I still have to do my French lessons, but I cannot sit here any longer. I, I, I cannot do it, cannot sit on this butt any longer. I need to get outside. I need to do something away from a computer screen right now. So we're gonna go on a hike and I'm gonna put some music on. And then by the time I'm done with my hike, my attitude is gonna be turned right around, right around because it's Wednesday, it's hump day. It's my favorite day. <laughs> Actually, it's not my favorite day. Monday is my favorite day, but we're gonna have a good day. It looks sunny outside. It looks beautiful outside. There's no reason why we shouldn't have a good day. I genuinely, I just need to rant for a second and then I swear to you, I'll be done and I'll shut up and you'll never have to hear about it again. But I woke up yesterday, actually it started yesterday and I just like didn't say anything cause I was like, mm, I'm just gonna ignore it. But now it's just like screaming at me. I woke up with the worst anxiety and that's all I've been like fixated on is the anxiety. It's not even about what the anxiety is about. It's just the fact that I'm fixating on the anxiety of me being like, I need to turn my day around. I need to have a good day. I need to stop with this anxiety. And then also just like my neck hurts from sitting here. Like I'm just mad at myself for not editing and doing some of the work that I had to do yesterday, today. Cause I feel like it just threw me off track. I'm just like also upset that like, 
Actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna share that one. I'm gonna keep that one to myself. <laughs> But I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just, I just want, I just so desperately want to turn my attitude around. Me putting pressure to turn my attitude around is not making my attitude turn around. So it's making me even more upset that I'm just like, Neely, turn your attitude around. Be happy. You know what? I think a hike, I think a hike will be really, really great for me right now. Done. I'm so glad I went on that hike. That made me feel so good. Like just getting in the sun and relaxing and I finally feel like I just I just took a deep breath. That was exactly what I needed. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was about. Woo! Girl! That's how you know it's sweaty in here. It's getting hot in here. I think I'm gonna go to the store and get some dragon fruit right now. If you don't know, dragon fruit will really clear you out. Like really rich. Really, just eat a dragon fruit. Wait like five, ten minutes, and I'm telling you, you'll be you'll be next in line to the to the bathroom. I did get carried away in the dragon fruit department at Air One. So let me show you what I got. First off, and most importantly, I got an iced matcha latte with the cashew almond milk milk that they make there. It's like a homemade milk that they make like in the store. It's such an LA thing to do, but it's good. I mean, it's, you know. But when I was in Air One and I was like looking for the dragon fruit, I realized that I haven't drank a lot of water today. So I was like, oh, girl, better get some water. And then I got dragon fruit. The one I normally get is this one. It's the yellow dragon fruit. This is the one I know. We'll make, we'll make ya, we'll clear ya out real good. But they also had the pink dragon fruit mixed with some mango, but mango aside, they had pink dragon fruit. And I don't think I've ever had pink dragon fruit. So I was like, okay, down to try it. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Now, before I get my sticky fingers in there, sanitize these hoes. I don't know where they've been. I just went on a hike. And I also don't have a fork to like really stick in there. So, you know. I gotta rely on my trusty dusty little fingers. I'm gonna start off with what I know, my tried and true. Also, you wanna get dragon fruit when it looks kinda like this, like it kinda looks mushy because that's when you know it's like good because it's ripe. That's that's when it's the sweetest because sometimes when you get it when it's not like this, the dragon fruit doesn't taste like anything and it's kinda like, ugh, why did I get this, you know? Oh my gosh, this was a good decision. It's so good. Is this kinda gross that I'm like eating it? out of the container with my hands. It's just the fact that it's kind of like mushy that I'm like questioning whether or not this is gross because if it was like blueberries or raspberries or strawberries or something, I'd be like, no problem. But because it's dragon fruit and it's like a little bit mushy, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I should be touching this. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna inhale the rest of this on the way home. I already know that, but let's crack into this one right here. I also love that they gave me mango with this one. Not like I, I dude, I have so much mango in a day. It's actually ridiculous. And also this is like, this is hard as a rock mango. This isn't even good mango. Okay, here's the pink dragon fruit. The pink dragon fruit is so much prettier, but I'll see if it tastes good. Hmm, huh, interesting. I don't even know how to describe it. I think the yellow dragon fruit's the winner. The yellow one's just really sweet. I don't know about this one. Okay, it's a little, I look, oh my gosh, I look like a little boy. I literally look like Lord Farquhar. What is going on? When I tell you I've had a day, boy, have I had a day. It's 8 p.m. I still have to do my French lessons, which is what I'm gonna go do now. Today was overall a good day, but I was feeling so anxious all day today. But then finally, like, I called my mom on the phone and then it like all came to a head and all of a sudden I started bawling my eyes out for two hours on the phone with my mom and just, just expressed everything and that's, what was so beautiful about today. You have to like experience and go through the emotions in order to like release them and let them go. And that's what I did today. But yeah, after that conversation with my mom, I just, sorry, I just can't take myself seriously right now. This is so hard for me to have like a heart to heart one-on-one -on -one conversation with you when I look like, when I look like a ceiling titty. Like what is going on? I had a really good conversation with my mom and it allowed me to just 
relax. And now here we are, eight o'clock at night, and I'm ready to go sit down and do my French lessons. Yesterday, I learned the days of the week. Mind blowing. Mind blowing that Tuesday is Mardi. Mardi should be Monday. The only day of the week in French that I know that makes sense to me is Judy, which is Thursday. I don't know why that just like renders in my head. Just like samedi, I'm probably pronouncing these so incredibly wrong, but samedi is Saturday. That that makes sense in my head. I'm sat at my desk, I'm gonna complete my French, and then I'm going to go to bed. Which means that completes day three of the 75 Hard Challenge. You know, if you liked it and had fun with me, stick around and tune in tomorrow for day four. Have a good night, everybody, or morning, or whenever you're watching this. I just hope you have a fantastic day. Don't judge this appearance, I promise, like, I clean up nice. Like, you should see me when I have my makeup and hair done. And like I promise you I can clean up nice okay I just want to put that out there because I feel like half of these vlogs I'm looking a little bit crusty which is like sad because 90% of my day is <laughs> 90% of my days that's how I'm looking okay but you know what if you can't love me like this you don't deserve me when I have a little mascara on so I'm sorry I'm like so in your face right now mm -hmm.